G'day guys, this is Captain Noob, and I've bitten the bullet, and I'm trying out the new Gorse Rifle prototype offered by the Creation Club. This thing cost me $4, so let's hope it's good. So, going into the barrels, we get the standard and shielded barrel. Hmm, very, very familiar, wouldn't I? Wouldn't you agree? So we've got the stock, or the butt stock, it says butt on it, so it makes it funny, so we'll go ahead and chuck the butt stock on. And for a scope, we get a choice between reflex or a range of short, if it's a recon or long scopes. We'll chuck the long scope on because I'm pretty sure that's the way it was back in Fallout New Vegas and everything. And for the suppressors, this is rather um, strange because you've got no suppressor, which is fine. You've got the wrap suppressor, which is obviously from the lever action rifle, and the normal suppressor, which looks like something off a combat shotgun or something. So. We'll chuck that on, just because a suppressed sniper is very, very good. And you also get a legendary slot, but we won't put anything there until we've tested out the potential of this weapon without it. So, this better be fucking good, Todd Howard. This better be good, motherfuck! Alrighty, so here we are in Gunners Plaza, and before we get into shooting people, I just want to look at the third person sort of movements of this weapon. So, if I fire there, you can see that this thing cranks like a laser musket, so it's obviously going to have laser musket animations. Now, as you can tell there, it doesn't really translate well to the, f uh, the foregrip of this weapon, because, look, you've got, you're hover-handing the shit out of it, but the grip, like the rifle, uh, pistol grip there, that's fine, I'll give that a pass. So, we've got this all cranked to its three bullets, which means that's the maximum you'll get this thing to crank to, which means, you know, it's going to be fine. It's a better than having six cranks and a laser musket, so I'll give it a pass for that. But, unlike the laser musket, we've got a suppressor, like a good ghost rifle should. So we'll be able to keep nice and hidden as we're shooting gunners from afar. Take your head off, mate. Too bad we're in caution now, because all those turrets will give us an immeasurable amount of screen shake. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and shoot this gunner. Like that, there we go, that makes good work of it. And since this is basically a Gorse Rifle Laser Musket hybrid, it's going to be pretty fucking terrible in VATS. The first shot will go fine, but any shot after you'll only get one crank out of it, so you're going to have extremely low power for any follow-up shots in VATS, which makes it completely unusable next to the regular Gorse Rifle. I should have stayed in bed, I should have stayed in bed and brought a regular Gorse Rifle to Gunner's Plaza. So we'll go ahead and crit this Gunner. Penetrator perk working well there to make sure we penetrate through that wooden, uh, that column there. And yes, the scope looking very good, looking like the texture that was uh, looking down the scope in New Vegas N3. So it's very good. Only problem is, you can't get this scope in long form, I mean in short form, so I'm going to have to zoom in to people's faces quite a lot before I, you know, sort of shoot them if I decide to aim down sights. So the hip fire in this thing isn't too bad. You wouldn't want to be hip firing a precision weapon like a sniper rifle, laser musket, or ghost rifle anyway, so that really doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that the, sh the time between shots seems to be around on the same time as a ghost rifle, but one of the main sort of features of this um, is that you don't have to charge up your shot, so there's no chance of you having a weaker shot, so I guess that's a point in the prototype ghost rifles uh, section there, so well done. We'll go ahead and shoot these gunners now, and getting more sneak attack crits on them is always a good way to go. Not sure how I missed that guy, maybe my stormtrooper aim just got the better of me. Shoot that person in the face, and we'll try and get two targets in VATS at once, and you can see just how terrible the follow-up shots are going to be. Although according to VATS there, we're going to one-shot this lieutenant anyway, so... No, we're not. So, even though we're getting a little bit of a benefit from um, Gunfu there, we didn't quite manage to get the damage to take him out. Unlike the regular Gorse Rifle, which would have probably taken both out nice and easily. Because you don't even have to worry about the thing charging up in VATS. Alrighty, what have we got in here? Just a melee gunner. We'll go ahead and crit him in the face. Easily dead. And we'll jump around here. 
come to this other side and attack from this end as we crank along our gorse rifle to reload it. So one of the main differences from the model of this and the model of the previous game is that the crank was actually on the other side and the only time you'd see that get action is when the gun was in bad enough condition to sort of have that extra little bit of reload animation to penalize you for not taking good care of your Stop weapons. Right like an hit scan of it though. This feels kind of like a gorse rifle and laser musket hybrid and it feels kind of good but uh, I'm having a hard time trying to bring up good things about it when it's got a $4 price tag on it. Might well take out this last turret and that is Gunners Plaza cleared out with the prototype Gorse Rifle. Would I say it's better than the Gorse Rifle already in the vanilla game? Hell no. Use that one instead, that one's better. Alrighty, let's test the prototype Gorse Rifle to its limits and take on Swan. So, we'll be able to make good use out of the uh, long scope that we've got equipped on it, so that's nice. And Man, that is actually taking out quite a chunk of its health when he's doing sneak attack crits, so well done, Ghost Rifle. We're getting good damage. Trouble is, we're probably going to be in danger pretty soon, and we'll go ahead and have to, you know, fight him without the use of sneak attack criticals. But since it's the middle of the night, Swan's a big dumbass, his perception is low, we can keep on stealth critting him until he's dead. That's him going into caution now, and him going into mutation station. So we'll go ahead and crit him through the carriage and see what we can do. So that was a pretty damn good shot, and a pretty damn good amount of damage on him. So the Gorse Rifle's damage, while the DPS might be slow, it's got a very high uh, damage on it. So, you know, this is definitely a sniper weapon, more like, uh, unlike the regular Gorse Rifle, which was more of a, maybe a... A DMR type weapon with its semi-auto stuff and we'll go ahead and just finish him off in vats and you can tell there that shooting him in vats like that severely cripples the weapon's DPS and damage per shot so probably not all that worth it. One thing I should mention is that this thing does eat up quite a lot of um, uh, electromagnetic cartridges when you go ahead and shoot it so if that's something you're running short on, which is probably a lot of people in the early game, then this weapon is probably unappealing for that reason. We'll go ahead and take on another monster. Alright, let's take on the Wendigo again, see if we can't crit him in one shot and kill him. So according to this, we'll be nixing half of his health off, so that's nice. We'll go ahead and see what we can do. Yep, he goes alright. Knackered his health in one shot, and we'll go ahead and shoot him just with the one cranks now and you can see that's still doing a respectable amount of damage but you got to keep in mind that this ghoul is rather soft and squishy oh it's hard to hit his face when he's dancing around like that what's he doing come back here stop right there ghoul criminal scum there's a oblivion reference i suppose there we go so, yes, a very good stealth weapon, as would every sniper rifle weapon would be. So, let's go ahead and kill these blood bugs because I'm sick of mosquitoes in general. Even though I'm not seeing any in the middle of winter, I'm still sick of the bastards. Hang on, that's a vampiric blood bug. So, he's a top tier blood bug and we're not actually killing him with our, with our body shot. So, hopefully we'll go for a headshot here. We won't be able to kill him in one shot. Ah, good work. So... I think it's stacking up rather nicely to the regular Gorse Rifle, but its functionality isn't quite the same. Maybe that's me being biased to my beautiful Fallout 4 Gorse Rifles. Hey, oh, look at him. Isn't he cute? He's a cute little fat fly. Not cute enough to save him from that. Alrighty, we'll move on to one last monster and see what this thing can do there. Alrighty, so now that we know this weapon a little bit better, let's go ahead and play to its strength. So there's a Myloc Kill Claw Overlord down there. Let's go ahead and snipe him and see how good we can do. So if we hit him in the face, we'll get a bunch of extra damage. Let's go ahead and do that. And the reload. Back in the vats. In the face. Crit. And then reload. Back in the vats. In the face. Crit. Reload, back in the vats, look at the face, and crit, and reload, look at me back in the vats, and in the face, there it is, and crit, 
Damn, and he's down with uh, the sniper knockdown effect, which you can totally get from this weapon because it is a rifle and it's got a scope. And then my, now, my only problem now is that um, my action points are low and I'm not entirely equipped to deal with any close range threats. So what I'm going to do now is just simply outpath him and try to get any sort of knockdown I can get. Gone into nerd rage here. We'll go ahead and shoot him in the face, hopefully. Quickly crank our weapon up. And quickly do that again. Nice of him to slow down time by trying to kill us. So we can go ahead and crit him in the face once again. Although I don't have any crits. That's a knockdown effect. We can go ahead and run away. We'll get to somewhere safe. Try to slip out of danger here so we can get more sneak attack crits. Alright, where are you, mate? Okay, we've lost, we've gone out of his line of sight long enough for him to miss us, so it looks like we're back into caution now. There we go. That's him over there. We'll go ahead and get another sneak attack crit on him. Looks like I might have hit him in the face, depending on where he's looking, so we'll go ahead and finish him off nice and easily right there. And have a stim pack, why not? So, that was the prototype Gorse Rifle. It's a okay weapon. It's got a decent... I mean, it's... Its meshes are decent. Its textures look really slick. Its attachments work well with the weapon, with mainly the suppressor. The scopes work well. Um, it's good that it's got another cranking weapon in the game that isn't a complete shit show like the laser musket, so that's very good. Uh, if you like this weapon, be sure to sell your soul to Todd Howard and give him $4, and this weapon will be yours to own. So, if you want me to test this weapon with uh, various legendary effects, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day, and thanks for watching, guys.